Hello, I'm Garrett Godfrey, and welcome to the Crowdfunding Christian Music Podcast, where I'll help you find and fund the music you love. This is episode one, recorded Wednesday, February 18th, 2015. I hope you enjoy the show and find something you can fund. Okay, so let's get right to it. Tonight, we're going to be looking at some crowdfunding campaigns for Kevin Max, The Fairfield Four, Philip and Paul Zach, Lindsay Westman, Tabitha Lewis, Metanoia, Bill Maloney, and The Violet Burning. Plus, we'll take a look back at a campaign that closed a while ago where I just got my CD. Now, first up is Kevin Max. He's got a new album coming out called Broken Temples over on Pledge Music. You can still get in early on the action there. He's already exceeded his goal, and there are still uh, uh, 18 days left until the release time. It looks like that's like March 8th, I, March 8th, I think. Um, his kids recently helped him release a video update with some teaser snippets of the songs, so if you're wondering what it sounds like, now you can find out. It's still not too late to pre-order. Um, you may remember Kevin Max from his time with DC Talk or Audio Adrenaline, but he's been doing solo stuff for years. And uh, it's really excited to see what's coming out from him now. Um, let's take a listen to that update. So if you go to Pledge Music, and uh, when you search for him, the search box over on Pledge Music is actually at the bottom of the page. It's a little different than what you might normally expect. Um, but Kevin Max, you can scroll down and find the updates, and on the right, at the bottom is the new update where his kids leak the album. Let's take a listen. So, here's how you find out what's available on the project overview itself. You'll see it's got the featured items, which their featured item right now is a signed CD for $25. But if you click View All Items, it shows you everything. Now, Pledge Music has something they call the Access Pass, and on almost every one of their campaigns, that means you get a digital copy of the album for the Access Pass, and that is $10 for digital download of the album, plus two special Pledge Music only tracks. The uh, next step up is actually $15 for the CD. Um, that's considered a special edition CD. I believe that has a song that's not going to be on the regular release. Uh, next step up is $25 for a signed copy. Of course, that includes the digital download, as did the $15 CD. And he's got a lot of other options, including vinyl, on a double-signed vinyl for $40. So hit up the show notes for links to this campaign and the videos his kids did. And if you pre-order the project, or even if you just want to help it get more visibility, post it on Facebook, tweet about it. Let people know that uh, Kevin Max is back and he's got a new project coming out. Next is... Fairfield Four. Now, these guys started in 1921, so these aren't the same original members from 1921, but that group had started years ago in an old Baptist church, and um, this is actually their first album in almost 20 years. They've got a new project coming out called Still Rockin' My Soul with a release date of March 10th and they are running a pre-order campaign with multiple reward levels on Pledge Music. They perform classic African-American a cappella gospel music. Let's hear a bit of their video and an update they just provided. After one remarkable album in 1962, they stopped performing altogether. It seemed to be the end of the Fairfield Four, but in 1980, a reunion concert took place with Sam McRae, James Hill, 
Isaac Freeman, Willie Love, Joe Whitaker. People start noticing the group once again. In 1992, Warner Brothers signed him to a one record deal. That record was nominated for a Grammy and was noticed by an avid 78 collector and longtime fan, Elvis Costello. Elvis, along with other mainstream artists, began to record and perform with the popular gospel group. On their second album, for Warner, the Fairfield Four finally received their first Grammy win. In 2001, Fairfield Four appeared in the Corn Brothers film, Old Brother, Where Art Thou? This beautiful movie and soundtrack on the group its second Grammy win. By this time, the group lost James Hill, Wilson Waters, and Isaac Freeman. These were mortal blows from which the group would be slow to recover, but recover they would. And a new Fairfield Four is now emerging once again, still keeping alive the old traditional singing style that was started so long ago in the basement of the old church. It's hard to believe that a group of such humble beginnings could come so far and affect the lives of so many. But I ought to know because my name is Joe Thompson, the Carruthers brother of my cousins, Samuel Craver was my pastor, and now I'm the bass singer for the Fairfield Folk. Hallelujah! 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 I've been going every week since I made a start, made a start. Days are brighter. Oh, well, hallelujah! Make my burden lighter. Love just bubbles over in my heart. In my heart. Well, I never been done. So they've got another update down at the bottom with um Great stuff. I am so looking forward to this coming out. Now here's the thing. You can get the digital download for $10, the CD for $15, a signed CD for $25, um, no vinyl for this project, but they're looking for, what was it? Um, it doesn't show how much they're looking for. They're only 17% into their goal with two days left. So I don't know what happens. I know um, I, I'm looking forward to hearing it. So I hope you guys jump on that. If you pre-order or even if you just want to help it get more visibility, please post on Facebook, tweet about it, spread the word, uh, let folks know that the Fairfield Four are putting out a new project after like almost 20 years. So Next is Bill Maloney. Now, thank you, Matt Crossland, over at Down the Line Zine. So, uh, Down the Line Zine is one of the, the sources I like for finding out about some Christian music. And Matt Crossland's one of the regular contributors. Um, he pointed out that Bill Maloney had a pre order campaign going on right now at Bandcamp. Now, Bandcamp is typically more seen as just a, an online sales avenue. For bands, they put their stuff on Bandcamp. People can digitally download the music in a bunch of different DRM-free formats and put it on whatever device they'd like. Um, it's fantastic. They also have a way to order uh, CDs or vinyl or um, you know other things. But they also have a mechanism for doing a pre-order. So Bill Maloney has a pre-order over at Bandcamp right now, and I'll have links in the show notes. It's called Lands and Peoples. Uh, now, I don't know if you know who Bill Maloney is. He was behind the Vigilantes of Love. Uh, he does Americana, folk, rock. He's done about 50 albums so far. The man is prolific. If you ever get a chance to see him in concert, please do. He's um, amazing. And uh, this project is expected to come out March 31st. The digital version is $12. The CD is 20 Final is 30, and um, this is the pre order campaign. But on the right, you'll see he's actually got what looks like two different um, things. One is previews. So when you click on that, 
you get a bunch of unmastered versions. So you know it's not the finished finished uh, format, but it'll let you give a get a taste of what it's like. So let's take a listen to that. Now something to keep in mind with Bandcamp, not only do you get the copy you downloaded and the CD or vinyl if you get that, um, but if you have an, a smartphone, you can install the Bandcamp app and it gives you free streaming of everything you've ever purchased through Bandcamp um, so you don't have to store them on your device. Uh, you can just stream it from the Bandcamp website. So that's another plus for uh, going through Bandcamp. Um, definitely hit up the show notes find the links, check out, he's got tons of music up here, listen through it, and if you decide to pre-order the project, I'd love to know about it, uh, even if you just want to help it get more visibility, post about it on Facebook, tweet it, uh, let folks know they've got a little bit more time, uh, once again that was March 31st, that he's looking at that coming out, um, so the CDs, he's, he's I guess making 750. So if you'd like to get one of those, be sure to get in early. Next up are some brothers, Philip and Paul Zack. They go by the name The Silver Pages, and they've got a campaign going on on Kickstarter for an EP named The Silver Pages Part 2. It's full of hymns, both old and original. It looks like a great project, and they brought in a wide variety of musicians. And they've got a video on the campaign page. Let's hear a little bit about that project. And he quoted one of David's songs from the cross. And it's, it's also cool to, to think about a song like Be Thou My Vision that was written in a different language over a thousand years ago that we, we now still sing together. We want to continue in the great tradition of, of theologians and songwriters um, that have come before us. So all these songs have either been inspired by or directly taken from some of our favorite authors like St. Augustine, King David, C.S. Lewis, uh, Tim Keller, and Puritans, Martin Luther, and a lot of the sermons that we've heard here at our churches. What started out as a simple process of recording old songs suddenly became this community of people that were connected around music. They bring their own personal experience into the studio and interpret the words and melodies of these songs in their own way. This project has been one of the most amazing musical journeys of my life. Working with so many incredible musicians has given us a wider perspective on how truly impactful the melody can be. We decided to do a Kickstarter because we want to extend the collaboration that has already been happening in studio to anyone else who would be interested in being a part of these songs with us. So. Um, I would like to play another clip down in their page. You'll see it's got the uh, little profile section where it tells you know how many things that they've backed or created. They've got a link to the Grid Studio, and that's their own studio, and that has a Listen tab on it at the top. And if you scroll down, you see a clip for the Silver Pages. So let's take a listen to the the uh, song from the first project. So I believe this is from part one of the Silver Pages. And that sounds really, really nice. Now, Philip Zach's been touring as a member of Remedy Drive for the last 10 years. And now he's doing this project with his brother, Paul. And if we go back to the campaign page, they're looking for six thousand dollars and they're sitting at fifty six forty six right now um, they have two days left less than two days left this closes at almost five o'clock mountain time 
Friday, February 20th. Now, a digital copy of Part 2, which is this, and uh, a copy of Part 1 from last year is $10. You can get both CDs of Part 1 and Part 2 for $25. And beyond that are reward levels where like they'll record a hymn of your choice and all kinds of stuff. So no vinyl, but get in fast. Uh, just the, uh, the window here is really short. Hit up the show notes for links to the campaigns and if you pre-order the project or even if you just want to help it get more visibility, post about it on Facebook or tweet about it. And uh, I'd like to know it as well, so um, let me know. Next up is Lindsay Westman with a Kickstarter campaign for a worship EP. And let's hear what she's got to say about it. Hi, I'm Lindsay, and I am a singer, songwriter, and worship leader based out of the Chicago area. And I'm really excited to share with you a vision and a dream that God has been building in me since I was a really little girl. There is something just so transformative and unique about helping people encounter God through worship and through the course of doing that in the last few years I've discovered that there's nothing I would rather invest my life in than that. So out of that has come a deep desire to create an album of songs for the church, songs to be sung in corporate worship for people to really connect with the heart of God. So I've been working with some songwriters and worship leaders and friends in the area to write songs that just talk a little bit about our struggle on earth and what it looks like to actually surrender to Christ and what the struggle on that journey looks like. So these songs are a collection of originals and summary tune hymns that all speak to that struggle, what it looks like to open our hands that we've clenched so tightly and open our hearts that we've turned on ourselves and really give it all to God. Wow, okay, so she's got a video lower on the page with uh, one of her songs, I Surrender All to Thee. Let's listen to a brief snippet. That has got a really nice sound. I could definitely hear that getting some airplay on Christian radio as well as some, uh, some usage in some churches. Uh, she has a goal for $8,000 and has already exceeded it. So this is going to happen. She's at uh, over $10,000 now. Um, and there's still another three days to go. This project closes Saturday night, February 21st. $10 gets you a digital copy. Um, $25 gets you a signed hard copy as, as well as the digital copy. And there are more rewards with other offers. No vinyl. Hit up the show notes for links to the campaign. And again, if you pre-order the project or even if you just want to help it get some more visibility, uh, post about it on Facebook, tweet about it, um, comment on it at Google+. And next up is Tabitha Lewis. Now, she's in Toronto, Canada. She's been writing songs and making music for 10 years now. Um, she's an artist. She started out doing uh, like painting and, and things like that. You can click on the little bio here and it'll tell you. Um, she's been creating since she was a little girl. Started as a visual artist doing painting and drawing. Um, she's, uh, she's got some great stuff. Um, She's looking for $6,000 to put out an EP. Right now, she has less than 200 with only nine days to go. Um, now, if you scroll down, down in the FAQ section for frequently asked questions, she's got links to her YouTube channel and her SoundCloud page. And so I'm going to play some of her stuff.
Let me play something from our SoundCloud page. There were a couple clips here. So this campaign closes Saturday, February 28th. Um, Ten dollars will get you a copy of the EP um, when it's finished uh, digitally. Twenty will give you a hard copy uh, signed. Um, please hit up the show notes for a link to this project. Please check out her YouTube channel and SoundCloud page. Um, if you kick in or even if you just want to get uh, help it get some more visibility, please post on Facebook, tweet about it. Um, I, I don't know if it'll hit $6,000 in less than 10 days, but I'm really hoping she gets some traction and is able to, to put something out. So, um, next up is Metanoia from Chile. Now, they're looking to do a 10 song album in English. They're affiliated with Thumper Punk Records. They do skater punk, um, kind of a pop punk, but uh, a lot more with, with their harmonies and. Uh, and musicianship. They're only looking for $800. So they've got a very reasonable goal and they're sitting at $638 with six days to go. So, um, you know, I think this is probably going to happen. This closes February 24th, so uh, there's still some time. Uh, they've got a short clip of the uh, uh, story on what's going on, so I'm going to play that and then we've got a, a short clip from their last album. project, 10 songs and a bunch of differences that will sound very good with it. So Ben, tell us about the difference between this album and the new release. Yeah, good question. Uh, actually we have like yeah, four differences. First thing, uh, we're going to be singing in English. Second, uh, way better sound quality. Uh, third, we're, we're not going to do any covers from any band. Uh, everything 100% metanoia. And fourth, uh, from from the day we started till now, we, we think we have matured as musicians, so we really think these new songs uh, are kind of cooler than the, the old ones. So, yeah, you definitely want to wanna hear them. Yeah. And, oh yeah, yeah, tell everyone, Diego, why do we want to sing in English this time? Simple. We want to be understood by anyone. So that's the reason. Yeah, in English, you know, everyone will understand. Okay, so here's a here's a snippet of a song from the last album um, in Spanish. So the next one's going to be in English, and uh, they definitely have an opportunity to still get that right now. Um, here are the reward levels. They've got, um, for $5, they thank you on Twitter. For $10, you get the uh, early digital download a couple weeks before the release date. 15 is a CD early. Uh, you could also get for 30 the uh, signed copy of the CD and there are some other things as well so hit up the show notes for the links to the campaign if you pre-order the project or even if you just want to get it more visibility post on it on Facebook tweet about it and uh, and give them some exposure uh, last but by no means least is the violet burning uh, 
they are doing pre-orders for a couple of different things. Now they aren't on any crowdfunding platform. So we saw something on Pledge Music, we saw something on Kickstarter. Um, we don't have anything this week on Indiegogo, but it's a common platform. Um, we saw something on Bandcamp. Uh, the, the Violet Burning are doing a crowdfunding campaign of their own. So just on their own store, they're taking pre-orders, and, and that's it. They've got two projects coming out, a rock album and a worship album. And uh, they're talking sometime this spring for those to come out. So you can pre-order just the rock album or just the worship album. Or you can, uh, you know, kind of leverage the uh, combination and save quite a bit of money by getting them both. Um, they have been personal favorites for my wife and I for years and uh, let's take a listen to a couple clips from their stuff. So. So this is from the, the story of our lives. They had a three album collection and uh, this is more the rock style. And then they've got uh, an older song called Invitation Fountain off an album called Satellite Heart that I love that's uh, more of their worship stuff. So do yourself a favor. Head over to the site from the from the links. Take a listen to the story of our lives on Spotify. Um, hit up the show notes and go to their store. Buy the three album collection for Story of Our Lives. It's twenty five dollars for the digital for all three volumes. Um, pre order the two projects, the Rock and the and the Worship. Um, uh, you're you're gonna love it. Um, but definitely go go and check check out their stuff. If you do pre-order the new projects or if you just want to help them get more visibility please post it on Facebook or tweet about it. And normally I like to take a look back at campaigns that have closed and provide an update. So this week that update is from the band Luxury. Now that closed October 6th of 2013. So this is over a year ago that it closed. So this just kind of goes to show you sometimes it takes a while um, I got the digital copy uh, before Christmas and I just got my CD in the mail. So here's the double fold artwork for uh, luxury trophies. And um, so it, it does take a while. They, uh, they're totally worth the time. Um, and I'm just going to play a little snippet of one of the songs for you. So they had done a lot of great music back in the 90s, and uh, this was record number five after a long hiatus, and uh, I am wearing this thing out. I am loving it. Thanks, guys. Okay, so those are all the campaigns for this week. Uh, don't forget to head over to the crowdfundingchristianmusic.com website where you'll find all of the episodes and the show notes and a couple easy ways to subscribe. I'm also maintaining a calendar on the website so you can click through the campaigns and you can see you know here's the Fairfield 4 and you can click on that link to open it in a new tab and um, check out the the campaign itself um, so there's there's definitely the calendar you're going to want to check out and uh, you can also click on the submission page so up at the top there's a link to the submission form where you can give me feedback on the podcast, on the website, on a campaign I ought to cover and haven't yet. Um, please let me know. 
Um, I would love to hear from you. Uh, good feedback or bad. Um, if you've got something to say, I, w I want to know. So here's, in fact, here's what I would ask from you. Stick around for a couple episodes, see what you think. If you like the show, tell any of your friends that you think that might be interested in. If you back a campaign because you heard about it here, please let me know. I'd love to know that this show is making a difference. If you back a campaign or just want to give it more visibility, mention it on Facebook, Google+, Twitter. Um, these folks can use all the exposure they can get. And frankly, most people probably find out about these campaigns because a friend posted it on social media. Also, you can follow and find and like this podcast on Facebook, Google+, Twitter. Um, the links are at the top of the website. So you've got the little Facebook, Twitter, Google+, we've got a YouTube channel, um, an RSS feed, all that's up there. If you do like the show, I'd love it if you would rate us, maybe give us a review on iTunes or wherever you found the show. If you decide to stick around and subscribe, please be sure to let me know. I'd love to hear how you found out about the show. And if you have any further ideas on how to improve things, you can email me, feedback at crowdfundingchristianmusic.com. You can message me or on Twitter at the other CCM, or use the submission form on the website. Uh, so I'm Garrett Godfrey, and that's it for the week. One other thing, if you liked the theme song at the beginning of the show, that's Hypostatic Union by The X Structure. All their music right now is Name Your Price over at Bandcamp. So head over to Bandcamp, look for the X Structure, stream all their songs, see what it's worth to you, and buy some of their music. Include a note that you heard about it on the Crowdfunding Christian Music Podcast. Have a great week. Mm -hmm.